today, I'm going to show you how to install a YouTube sequencer while it's not yet in the Chrome Web Store. Let's get started. First, go to the GitHub page linked in the description. Find the green code button. Click on it and choose Download Zip from the drop-down menu. Once the download is complete, unzip the file to a familiar location on your computer. Now, return to your browser. In the address bar, type Chrome, slash slash extensions and press Enter. This takes you to the extensions page. In the top right corner, you'll find a toggle for developer mode. Turn this on. With developer mode on, you'll see new options. Click load unpacked in the top left corner. A file dialog will appear. Navigate to where you unzip the file and select the folder. This installs the sequencer extension in Chrome. Head over to YouTube and choose any video. For instance, start with this one. Since you're already here, you should see the new sequencer interface. If it's not visible, refresh the page. Here's what you can do with the sequencer. Change the sequence's tempo. Create a new step by specifying slice number, speed, and note length. Modify or delete steps and control playback with play, pause, stop, and clear functions. Let's understand what a slice is. If a YouTube video is 10 seconds long, pressing a number key from 0 to 1 jumps to a corresponding second. Essentially, you're moving to a point calculated as the number you press times the video length divided by 10. Experiment with this, it's quite fun. Regarding speed. While YouTube's player allows adjustments from a quarter to double the original speed, the sequencer offers precision control. I've mapped this to a value range from 0 to 100 for ease of use, where 50 is the original speed. 100 is 16 times faster. And zero is 16 times slower. If you run into any issues or have questions, feel free to comment below or raise an issue on GitHub. Don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. See you in the next video. Bye.